Hello and welcome to the history of Fallout New Vegas. On today's episode we're going to be covering Camp McCarran and here we go. Camp McCarran is located in the Mojave Desert in Fallout New Vegas. Originally founded as the Alamo Airport in 1942, the airport was renamed to McCarran International Airport on December 20th, 1948 after Pat McCarran, the Senator of Nevada and the author of the Civil Aeronautics Act. Once the primary airport of Las Vegas, the McCarran International Airport was heavily fortified before the Great War and featured a direct monorail connection to the Strip. Although left abandoned for decades in the wake of the Great War, the arid climate of the Mojave preserved the buildings well, allowing for the new California Republic to settle into it with ease following the New Vegas Treaty. In 2274, that granted them ownership of the old transportation hub, renamed Camp McCarran. It subsequently became the regional headquarters and communication hub for the new California Republic Army, particularly in the management of the logistics aspect of troop allocation, supply distribution, and intel gathering. Under NCR control, Camp McCarran is the largest active military base in the New Vegas area and serves as a crux for the NCR operations across the Mojave region as a center of logistics and information for the NCR Army forces anywhere in Nevada. Despite its crucial role in the NCR's Mojave campaign, the base is plagued on a daily basis by attacks from the fiends a drug-crazed gang that operates in the area, as well as suffering from internal sabotage by spies of Caesar's Legion. One of the primary advantages of occupying the former civilian airport for the NCR was because of the monorail connecting directly to the Strip, and for being an easily defendable location. Also, having easily utilized technology, as well as fortifications that were built before the Great War. McCarran includes a larger garrison than any other base in the area, except possibly the Hoover Dam. Despite its importance and large garrison, it is shorthanded due to constant skirmishes with the fiends and troop redeployment order by NCR command. By 2281, the de facto base commander is Colonel James Hoos, who also commands all NCR army bases in the Mojave. Camp McCarran is situated outside the southern wall of the Strip, southwest of the NCR sharecropper farms. The airport is mostly intact, having only suffered damage from lack of repair. The NCR has converted several of the guard posts into sniper's nests, and the parking lot in the center into a barracks with sleeping, medical, supply storage, office, mess hall, and recreational tents set up as well as firing ranges. Near the cargo terminal gates is a truck repair depot. There are also several NCR supply trucks parked around the barracks, tents, and passenger airplanes near the control tower. The tents closest to the camp entrance are occupied by the NCR First Recon, while the rest of the tents are used by regular NCR soldiers. Right the outside of the base is usually patrolled by groups of three NCR troopers on all sides of the complex who will usually engage members of the fiends. Typically, there are five of these groups. They respawn every three days. NCR troopers also use the control tower's sniper nest, assisting or shooting at the courier, depending on the progress in the game, or the reputation at the time. It appears that the NCR may have lost ground or pulled troops back from surrounding sandbag barricades stretching to the South Vegas ruins. NCR patrols, however, will go as far as the hill behind Vault 34, as can be seen from a group of three standing around a fire barrel. NCR troopers venture into the Fiend's territory to eradicate their presence, in turn better securing the perimeter of the camp. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Fallout New Vegas. And special thanks to the Fallout fandom for all information you heard today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.